Good evening, Reina. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Um, I'm okay, thank you. thank you. All right, that's nice. I'm pretty well, thanks for asking. How was the weekend? Um, good. Yeah, good. Was it good? Okay, what did you do? What? What did you do on the weekend? Um, uh, ningún lado. What's this? <laughs> oh, you didn't go anywhere? Uh -huh, yes. My you home. only stayed home. Okay. Yeah. Sounds nice. You had some time to rest, I guess. Como? You had some time to rest. Tiempo de descansar. Uh, yes. Okay, that's great. And how about the platform, Reina? What section are you in? The section four point point four. Oh, okay. Um, All yeah. right, you're doing pretty well. You're in section four already. Nice. Yeah. Let's see, Marco Antonio. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Marco? I'm kinda, and you? I'm, I'm good, thanks for asking. And how about the weekend, how was it? It was great, honestly. Oh, nice. What did you yeah. do? I went to buy some food and I went to to take some books. Oh, you got some new books. Yep. Oh, great. So I bet you like reading. Yeah. What kind of books uh, do you like? I, I like the about mystery. Oh, all right. About some uh, action. Oh, that's interesting. All right, nice. And tell me about the platform. What section are you in? I'm in the section 5.2, I, I thought. Oh, you're almost done. All right. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Let's see, Katia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Katia? Um, so tired. Oh, you're tired today? <laughs> yes, we're in the Monday mood, right? Mondays are hard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. That's it. Yes, right. How was the weekend? It was. Um, I don't know how to say. Too much work here in my house. Cleaning. Oh, it was busy. Oh. Just doing housework, doing chores. Yes. Oh no, that's pretty bad. <laughs> pretty <laughs> tiring, right? <laughs> okay. In the in the platform, Katia, how are you doing? I going in section four point nine. Okay, nice. You're almost done with section four. That's great. Yes. All right, let me see Rene Cantaderia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Good, uh, teacher. Okay. All right, that's nice. How was the weekend? Well, uh, my weekend was uh, quite relaxing. Oh, okay. Yes, Sounds uh, nice. My friends. Um, on Sunday, I went to with my family to celebrate my my daughter's birthday. Oh. Uh, in in advance, with uh, a lunch at the restaurant in the beach. Okay, sounds cool. That's very nice. Thank and you. how about the platform, Renee? Uh, what section are you in? 
uh, only uh, uh, only I need a terminar el, el the, the Mr. exam. Oh, okay. You're only missing the, the midterm or the final one. No, midterm, midterm. Oh, you're in the midterm one, okay. okay. All right, so you should do it as soon as possible, please. Okay. Remember that, yes, this week we are working on section uh, four already, so you should okay. be done with section three. All right, let me see, Kenya Esperanza, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? How are you, Kenny? Fine, teacher. Okay, that's nice. How was the weekend? Um, good, funny. Oh, really? What did you do? Um, I went. Um, no sé cómo se dice parque acuático. <laughs> to a water park or yes. Oh With nice. my family. Okay. Sounds great. I guess you swam a lot. Right? <laughs> Did you get a sunburn as well? Not so much. Perdón. Did you get a sunburn? Se requemó or yeah, that's how we say it in Spanish. Or not so much. ¿Qué tal uh, no, no, no. Not much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's nice, Kenya. And in the platform, what section are you in? Um in section section three. Okay, all right, you're still in section three. Um, are you almost done with it? Or did you finish it? ¿Cómo? Eh, ¿Que acá se la termina? ¿Ya la terminó? ¿O cómo va? Eh, ya la terminé. Voy por la... Oh, okay. So you're in section four. Cuatro. No la... Okay. Mm -hmm. la cuatro. Okay, we're doing well then. Yes. Very good, Kenya. Okay, let me see, Madeline, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Great, how was the weekend? Um, was busy, I have a lot of work, so oh. much work. Oh, that's pretty bad. And how yes. about the platform, Madeline? How are you doing? Um, I am the section four. You're in Start section. section four. Okay, you're doing pretty well then. Keep going. Let's see, Manuel Alejandro. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Manuel is gone. Oh, hi Manuel, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Good, I'm doing well, thank you. How was the weekend? Um, fine. Um, I was so busy, but fine. Okay, that's nice. And the platform, Manuel? What section are you in? I finish it often. You're finishing? Often. Oh, okay. All the sections, yes. All right, that's fine. Okay, that's great, thank you. Let's see, Marta Elizabeth, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, and how was the weekend? Um, my weekend was busy. I took um, 
I went to work Saturday. You had work on Saturday. Oh no. But did you rest yesterday on Sunday? Yes. Oh, you did. Okay. That's nice. And how about the platform, Marta? What section are you in? And I work, I working in the section 4.5. Okay, very well. You're doing great. Let's see, Thanks. Reina Costa, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. All right, sounds nice. And how was the weekend? It was very rest. Oh, it was uh, relaxing. Was it? Was it nice? And um, uh, what did you do? I I fun. Okay. And how about the platform, Reina? What section are you in? Uh, session four. Or section. ten. Okay. You're doing very great. Um, you're almost done with section four. Nice. Let me see, Oscar Antonio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. All right, sounds nice. How was the weekend? Uh, I, I had a quiet weekend. Oh, all right. It was relaxing. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, it sounds nice. And how about the, the platform, Oscar? Uh, I am I am starting the section four. Okay, just starting section four. Nice. Keep going. Mm. Let's see, Melvin Alejandro. Good evening. Hi, Melvin. Good evening. Oh, I see your microphone on, but I cannot hear you, Melvin. All right. Meanwhile, let me say hi to Roberto. Good evening, Roberto Sarceño. Hello, teacher. How are Sorry. you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Great, I'm good, thank you. How was the weekend? Um, excellent. Uh, I went to the uh, the beach with my family. Oh, perfect. You had a nice weekend. And how about the platform, Roberto? What section are you in? Uh, only the three three point two section. Okay, you're still in section three. Yes. Okay. All right. Just remember to keep working because this week we are working on section number four. So you have to be done with section three as soon as possible. Please keep working. Okay. okay. So let's see. Um, that's fine, Melvin. Don't worry. It's okay, just get your message, it's fine. Okay, so let's start with today's session. Um, well, first of all, do you have any questions, any doubts about any of the work that you have been doing in the platform? Any of the exercises maybe? Do you have any questions or doubts? No? Okay, then let's start. Okay, that's good. Then let's start by talking about the midterm exam. We are going to solve it together. So we, uh, we can solve any doubts if, if there are any. And we can also get some feedback in any case. So let's, let me open it. Okay, the first exercise is the listening, the listening comprehension 
Um, right. So we're going to listen and then we're going to select the correct answers. Pay attention, everybody. Okay, let me open it again. It didn't, it didn't start. Okay. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada, too. <laughs> really? Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. Okay, so we got um, the question number one or the exercise number one. We have Sylvie is Lucy's friend from Toronto or Michael's classmate? Lucy's friend. friend. Exactly, she's Lucy's friend. And number two, Sylvie's last name is which option? Number one, two, or three? Two. Two. The second one, right? This is how it's spelled. And we have number three, Lucy's math teacher is pretty great, very interesting, or really good? Really interesting. Really good. The class is very interesting, but the teacher is really good, it says. And we have number four, they are all in the cafeteria, in the same school, or in the same chemistry class? In the same school. cafeteria. They are in the same school, and then they mention they are going to the cafeteria, okay? And then we get part number two. It's another conversation. Let's listen to it, and then we answer. Ann and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Ann, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price, $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, what size are you, small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. Okay, so we got Ben prefers the green, red, or blue shirts. 
green, uh, green shirt. Green. Green shirt. Yes, he prefers the green ones. And the blue shirts are $25, $29, or $41. Green. $29. They are $29. And how about a number three? The green shirts are made of polyester, cotton. silk, or cotton. 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 They are made cotton. of cotton. Yeah. And the, latter, the last one, Ben's size is large, medium, or small. Medium. 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 Okay, very well. Now let's move to the next exercise. It's a fill in the blanks. We have to use the correct form of the verb be, am, is, or are. So we got number one, uh, where? Where are you from? Uh, where are you from, Teresa? Hi. I'm from Mexico City. How about you? Number two, Marta, can you read it and tell me the answer? Please. Is David in your class this semester? Okay, yes. read the answer. Yes, we are in the same Spanish class. Thank you. We use is, is David. Number three, Maritza de Villalta. What are your March class like? What are or what is your math class? What is, perdón, okay. what is your March class? All right, read the answer, please. It is really uh, interesting. Okay, so let's see, it is, what is your math class like? What is? It's really interesting and the teacher is great. And that's how it goes. And number four, let me ask Reina Acosta. Can you read it and give me the answer, please? Wow. Hmm? Um, sorry, Reina, we cannot hear you well. Can you repeat that, please? What? Maria and Brian from Canada. Uh, here we have to oh. use am, um, is, or are. Where? No, it's are. Mm -hmm. What do we say? Are. Maria. Are. Brian from Canada. Very good. And we say are Maria and Brian from Canada? No, from England. <laughs> then in the next part, we have to do the same, but using the simple present. So we have number one, where you work. What do we use here or what do we add? Do. 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 Yes. Where, where do you work? work? I work where in a restaurant. Work? I'm a chef. Number three. Does. 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 What does he do exactly? Does. He's a pilot for Global Airlines. And number three, where does she? Go. 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 go to school. Go. Where does she go to school? She goes to the she University goes to of University Colorado. Of mm, section C is circle the word or just choose the correct word. We have to choose the right possessive adjective. We got number one, nice to meet you, Rich. You. And what's your, what is your, your, what's your last name again? Nice. Number two, okay. here my or its last name is Parker. Ma. My. 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 My last name is Parker. Name is it's nice to meet you too. Okay. Number three, this is my new friend Elizabeth. Everyone calls her here, Beth. Here, Beth. Her. Everyone calls her Beth. Her. And number four, hi, Beth. We're the I Johnsons. Our first name. Oh. Our, our first names are Frank and Judy. And then we have part number two, which says choose the proper object pronoun. We have a Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. I like him, him. him a lot. Yes, we use him because it refers to Johnny Depp. 
Okay, then we have number two. Music videos aren't very interesting. Do you like? Them. 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 Number three. My favorite TV program is Survivor. What do you think of? It's. It's. It. What do you like? Okay, it? in section E, we have to complete the sentences. By using the correct time expressions, we have number one, I sleep at, at, at. at. I sleep at 10 p.m. on weekdays. Weekend. Number two, Jan gets home late at, at, night. at night. At night. Number three, they have lunch. On, 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 on Saturday. Saturday. On Saturday around 1 p.m. On Saturdays. Number four, I go to bed around 11 in, in, in the evening. evening. Number five, we have class in, in, morning. in the morning. And in the part number two, we have to use demonstrative pronouns. Um, this, these, that, and those. We have number one, how much is? This This, this, this watch. I can find a price tag. Two, look at those. 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 Look at those purple jeans over there. Aren't they stylish? Three, I like these. These. I like these gold earrings. They look great on me. Four, excuse me, I like that. That, mm -hmm. yes, that cap. Can I see it, please? And number five, she likes oh, sure. those, those glasses over there. Okay, and then we had a reading. Um, well, we are going to just skip it unless you have any questions or doubts about it. Do we have any questions, doubts? Or no, maybe not. Okay, let's see. Then we are going to continue by reviewing the comparative adjectives, which is the last topic that we studied last week. So let's review it. Remember that the general rule for Making comparative adjectives is that we add ER to the adjective, right? So we get, for example, new becomes newer, and then newer. we add the word then in order to compare two things, right? For example, this cell phone is newer than the other one, or this cell phone is newer than that one. Then we have long. What is the, the comparative for long? Longer. 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 Longer than. Okay. Um, then we have expensive. What happens in the case of expensive? Expensive. More expensive. Okay. So remember that for longer adjectives, we use the word more, more before the adjective. And then we add the word then at the at the end, more, so, expensive more expensive than. Then we have big. What is the the comparative for big? Big, bigger than. How do you spell it? Yeah. Yeah. How do you spell bigger? B-I-G-G-E-R. Exactly. This one takes double G. We double the last consonant. Then we have small. What's the comparative? Smaller. It's nice. Smaller. Smaller than. For good, we get an irregular um, adjective, which is comparative. Better. 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 Better than. Okay. What's the one for bad? It's also irregular. Worse. 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 Worse than fast, faster, faster than. And for thin, we got thinner. Thinner. We double the N and we add ER, thinner than. Then we have pretty. What's the comparative? 
prettier, prettier. than prettier. Okay, how do you spell prettier? P R E D T I E R. Okay, so we remove the Y and we add I E R, right? Then we have the adjective slow. What's the comparative? Slower. Slower. Lower, slower than. Beautiful. What's the comparative? More, more, more beautiful. beautiful. More beautiful. Yes, we say more beautiful than. How about exciting? More exciting. More exciting than. Yes, we say more exciting than. Further than. And in the case of fat, what do we have? Fat. Fatter. It's double T, fatter than. The comparative for clean is? Cleaner. 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 Cleaner than. The comparative for handsome? More handsome than. More. More handsome. Mm -hmm. We use more. More handsome than. And how about young? Younger. Younger. It becomes younger than large. What's the comparative? Larger. Larger than. Larger than. Okay, what's the comparative for tall? Taller. Taller. Taller than, and the one for intelligent is? More intelligent. More intelligent. Yes, we say more intelligent than. Okay, now let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat, newer than. Newer, newer than. than. Longer than. Longer, than. Longer than. than. More expensive than. More, More expensive, expensive than. than. Bigger than. Bigger, Bigger than. than. Smaller than. Smaller than. than. Good, better than. Good, Good better, better than. than. Better than. Yeah. Bad, worse than. Faster than. Thinner than. Thinner than. than. Prettier than. Prettier than. than. Lower than. Slower than. 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 More beautiful than. More, More beautiful than. than. More exciting than. Father than. Father than. Cleaner than. Cleaner than. More handsome than. More handsome than. Younger than. Younger than. Larger than. Larger than. Larger than. Taller than. Taller than. More intelligent than. More intelligent than. Okay, very well. Now let's continue by a working on a conversation. We're going to watch the video and listen to it. And then we are going to get some pairs to read it. Let me go to section four. Remember that today we're starting the section number four. So that means that should be you should be working in this section as well. Or if you are a um, partner than that, that is fine as well. And let me see, we got um, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. So let's listen. <clears throat> On a discussion
In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section 4. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions <coughs> using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like... Let's see. Do you? Okay, let me and stop it and refresh it because it's not doing well. Do you? Yeah, I do. There we go. Okay. Do you like rap lit? Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. All right, they got opposite likes. Let's see, um, do we have any volunteers to read? Hey, teacher. Hey, teacher, Maritza. Rene and Maritza. Okay, go ahead, Rene, you start. <clears throat> okay, do you like rap, please? No, I do not like it very much, do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I can know he does he play the piano. Piano? No, he doesn't. He is a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know can know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Wow. What's your favorite singer? Celine Dion, I love you, her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thanks for reading very well. And now everybody repeat, no. 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 Okay, and now let me get another pair to read, please. Ready? Me, teacher. Katia. And who else? Roxana. Roxana. Okay, very well. Katia, you can start. Okay. Do you like family? No, I don't like it very much, do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess. I don't know much about rap. 
So what kind of music do you like? I really like uh, pop music. What's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, excellent. Thanks for reading. And now everybody repeat. Do you like rap, Liz? Do you like rap, rap, rap Liz? I don't like it very much. I don't like, I don't like it very much. Very much. Very, very much. much. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. I, I think I know him. Does he play the piano? Does he play, play the piano? piano? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's a singer. He's a singer. I guess I don't know much about rap. I guess I don't know much about rap. What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite singer? I love her boys. I love her boys. Do you like her? I like her. I don't like pop music very much. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, so as you see here, we're talking about likes and dislikes. So let's see what we get. Um, okay, for talking about likes and dislikes, we can use different verbs. Among them, we find love, which is uh, to indicate that you like something very much or you like it a lot. Then we have like and don't like, which would be the negative to this one. And we also have the opposite to love, which would be hate. We're talking about dislikes, right? When you don't like something at all, you could say that you hate it. And something to take into account is that we use the simple present to express likes and dislikes. We always use the simple present. We say, I hate, I love, I like, I don't like. Or we like, and they love, she hates. But we cannot really say, uh, for example, I'm loving or I'm hating, I'm liking. That is not commonly used. We use the simple present to express likes. Then another thing to take into account is that as we are using the simple present, we must add S to the verb when using the third person. Here we have um, the chart. And it indicates that we have to use love with the subjects I, you, we, and they. We say, I love, you love, we love, and they love. Mm -hmm. Then for he, she, and it, we add S and we get loves. Mm -hmm. He loves, she loves, it loves. Then we have like, uh, which we use for I, you, we, and they. But for he, she, and it, we say likes. And the next one is the negative, don't like. We use it for I, you, we, and they, once again. And for he, she, and it, we use doesn't like. He doesn't like, she doesn't like, it doesn't like. And then we have hate. Hate is used for I, you, we, and they. I hate, you hate, we hate, they hate. And hates is for the third person. He hates, she hates. And it hates. Now let's practice pronunciation. Repeat everybody. Love. 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 Loves. No. Love. Like. 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 Likes. Like. Likes. 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 Don't like. Don't like. Don't like. Don't like. Doesn't like. Like. Hate. 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 Hates. 
Okay. 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 And let's continue by reading some examples on how to use those verbs. We have, I like jazz. We love rock music. They don't like salsa music. My sister doesn't like reggaeton. And I hate heavy metal. And then another thing that we're going to learn in this lesson is to ask questions in simple present using do or does along with WH question words. So in order to make questions, uh, yes, no questions, we use the, the auxiliary verb do or does at the beginning. Then we add the subject, then we have a verb and then the complement. And remember that we use do for the subjects. I, what else? We, you, we, you, and, and they. they. And, they. Okay. and we use does for? He, she, he, it. He, it. He, she, and it. So I say, do I, do we, do you, do they? But does she, does he, does it? And here I have some examples of questions. We have, do you like electronic music? The answers could be, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Next one, does she like shrimps? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. And then we have, do they love oranges? Yes, they do. No, they don't. And something important to remember here is that we also use the auxiliaries in the short answers. For example, here we say, do you like electronic music? Yes, I do, right? And if your answer is negative, you use no. Remember to also use the negative um, auxiliary, right? Don't or do not. And the same happens in the case of does, right? We have does, yes, she does. No, she doesn't, doesn't. So just keep that little detail into account. And now, um, let me check the time. Okay, we've got a couple of minutes to practice. Let me send you to the breakout rooms and I want you to answer some questions and also to react to some different things, their activities and also food and different stuff. How come, for example, you're going to ask, uh, do you like pizza? And then you can answer by saying, yes, I love pizza, depending on how much you like it. You say, I love pizza. Or you could say, yes, I like pizza, right? If you just like it. Then if you don't like it, you say, no, I don't like pizza. And the other option could be hate, right? No, I hate pizza, right? Oh, or, um, for example, if I ask you, do you like onion? No, I don't like it. Do you like running? No, I hate running. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's right for me too. <laughs> okay, then we have a seafood. For example, if you ask me, do you like seafood? I would say, yes, I love seafood. So that is what I want you to do. Let me send you to the breakout rooms and we got like, yeah, let's see 12 minutes to work on this. So you keep asking and answering the questions. Um, if you can, you may take a, a screenshot of the, oh, what happened? Okay, and let me send you to the breakout rooms. There we go.
Hi, did you get the screenshot? I oh, just sent it. Okay. Tendría que ser de compartir foto o pantalla. Hi, Rene Costa. Do you like pod music? Uh, I love pod music. Okay. Me avisa si ven la imagen ahí. Sí, ¿Sí la yes. pueden ver. Thank you. Sí. Okay. Thank you. ¿A quién le pregunto? Uh -huh. A Sandra. Hi Sandra, do you like pasta? Um, Sandra is writing on the chat because uh, her microphone doesn't work, she says. Okay. So maybe you can check in. Also, she wrote a question for you, Katia. <laughs> okay. I yes, I like pasta. Okay. Um, Oscar, do you like onion? Uh, uh, no, I I I had onion. Uh, Reina Costa, do you like horror movies? Uh, rock music or horror horror movies? Uh, horror movies. No, I don't. I don't like horror movies. Ask me, Reina Costa. Okay, um, Katia, do you like basketball? No, I hate basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, do you like dancing? Yes, I like dancing. Uh, Reina Costa, do you like uh, cold weather? Mm, no, no tengo muy claro que... Ah, ya, ya, ya. Yes, <laughs> I, I like... I love. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you like, do you like movies? movies? Uh, for me, for me, I don't, I don't like. I hate, I hate the seven. Yes, for me, uh, uh, I, I, I hate. I don't like movies. movies. No, I hate horror movies. I hit. I hit. I hit. 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 I hit. Hit. Ah, okay. Hit. I hit. Mm, I hit. 
horror movies. I hate. Okay, I hate. Thank you. Do you okay. like? Do you like the beach? Yes. For me, I like. <laughs> yes, I like. I like. Um, Marta, do you like romantic music? Uh, uh, movies? Sorry. Do you like romantic movies? Marta? Mm -hmm. That's not there. Do you like Mexican food? Yes. Yes, I like it. The Mexican food. For me, I hate. I hate. 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 I hate. I hate. For me, I like. I hate the Mexican food. <laughs> oh, you don't like it, Roberto? Yes. Yes, I like. Oh, we got both Robertos here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Continue. Um, Do you like candy? Yes, I like candy. For me too? Yes. I love candy. Do you like romantic movies? Horror movies? I no, like I like movies. horror movies. Do you like basketball? Yes. No, I, I don't like basketball. basketball. Do you like romantic movies? Yes. Okay. I like romantic, I like movies. romantic movies. Do you like candy? Yes. yes. I like candy. I like really candy. Do you like people I really like candy? Yes, yeah, really, really like candy. I like really like candy. Okay. Do you like Mexican food? Uh, no, I like, I like Mexican, Mexican food. food. Do you like sushi? No, no I, I like sushi. sushi. Do you like swimming? Yes, yes I, like I like swimming. swimming. Do you like dancing? No, yes, I like, I like dancing. dancing. Do you like cycling? Ah, uh, no, yes. I, I like cycling. Do you like the beach? You say cycling. Yes. Cycling? Cycling. 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 Do you like cold water? Yes, I, I love cold water. All right, so welcome back, and that will be all for today's class. Thanks, everybody, for participating. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, teachers. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. See you. Good night. Bye. Bye.